But this is probably one of the starkest warnings in the New Testament that Paul writes, and he tells us to flee from sexual immorality. Flee from it. Here's what he says. And by the way, before we look at this verse, Corinth, to whom he's writing, is worse than the Las Vegas, sorry, Las Vegas watchers, but in terms of promiscuity, Corinth was worse than modern day Las Vegas. I mean, it was commonly, it was accepted that men could sleep with prostitutes. It was accepted that men could have slaves. It was accepted in Roman culture that man could have these outlets if they wanted them. Women couldn't, but men could. And so Paul is writing to this church, totally blowing up their paradigm. It would be like, to use an example, it's accepted to us, it's not a moral example, but you know, we have pets, we have dogs. Imagine somebody writing and saying, you can't have dogs anymore, it's immoral. We'd be going, what? What, what are you talking about? Where does this come from? I mean, that's how kind of revolutionary it was for Paul to say something like this to this city. Here's what he said. Flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commits are outside his body, but he who sins sexually sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. In fact, John Calvin said that this is the entire summary of Christianity right here. You are not your own. You were bought at a price. You're bought at a price. God created you, you fell, and then God came to rescue you at great cost to himself. And so you're bought at a price, so honor God with your body, honor God with your whole life. And as you know, as he says in Romans chapter 12, after he goes to 11 chapters of theology, he says, therefore present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. So flee from sexual immorality. And in our culture, that's hard to do because it seeks you out, doesn't it? It's everywhere. You can't even go on a news site without seeing soft pornography, right? Super Bowl was a, was a porn show, right? Basically, it was a strip club show. You can't get away from it practically. But we're supposed to flee from it because it has such negative consequences.